This Jenny's Golf Video Update is brought to you by Country Kitchen, Highway 13 and 50 in Warrensburg. All right, Coach Port, you're headed into the fourth year with the Jenny's Golf Program, and we might hear some construction noise in the background of this interview. We are making some big changes out here at UCM. You've been a big part of that. Talk about kind of how the course is going to be different. Well, we're doing roughly a $3.7 million renovation out here. It's going to be totally different when we get open. We're about 60 days away from having the course open, and uh, it's, you know, everybody that goes out there, it's the same reaction every time. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe how much it's changed. So it's, it's going to be a big play us for both our team and the men's team in terms of recruiting and just having a we'll have one of the best practice facilities out there and we do also host some miaa tournaments how do you think this type of course what it's going to end up being like is going to affect conference stuff well i think that what we have with the new course is a is a course that's in line with any of the better courses we're playing at any of our events so i think from that standpoint when we do host events it's going to be the type of course that people are going to want to come in and play so like we said, four years in, are you kind of at the point you envisioned when you when you helped start this program? Yeah, I think that we are. I think that this will be the first year that I will have more upperclassmen playing than I will freshmen. You know, the first three years we've always had three freshmen play in the top five. And I think this year we'll actually have a majority of upperclassmen playing, which it's kind of nice. You know, every year for the past three years we've had this fall season where we've kind of had freshmen learning what it's like out there and this year we're actually going to show up with teams that everybody really knows you know we may have one or two freshmen playing in the top five and that experience with those upperclassmen like you talked about how key is that when you are going up against these other miaa teams well i think it's important i mean that's i've always felt like the last three years one of the big challenges for us is you know the central oklahoma the northeastern states lindenwood everybody has got a nice balance of upperclassmen that can kind of lead by example for the the younger kids. And for us, every year we've showed up with three freshmen in the top five. At times last year we played four freshmen, and it's it's difficult. You know, I mean, it's difficult for them to figure out what to do sometimes. Now I think we have enough leadership in the team that it's just we won't have to worry about learning while we're out there. Who are some of those players you're looking to come out and you know really have a good season? Well, obviously, I, you know, we've got Kelly Welker and Taylor Intrican coming back from last year who played really well. Miranda Smith played great in the, the fall or the spring for us. She had a really rough fall, but then when she got her opportunity in the spring, she played really good, finished up great at the conference tournament. You know, so I think those three players coming back are going to be strong for us. Kayla Temple was out most of the spring last year with an injury. Uh, Kayla, up until that point, had played every event in her career here. Alexa Boatman coming back, she's going to give us some experience. So I, I think, you know, our experience coming back is really strong. We have six returning players. All of them have played at least 10 events in their careers here. And then we're adding three strong freshmen and a transfer. So I think that overall, we've, this is by far the most talented team we've got. So then what are some of your goals heading into this MIAA season? You know, I think that everybody's goal is the postseason. And I think this year, you know, we're going to have an opportunity to make that a realistic goal, I think, this year. This Jenny's Golf Video Update is brought to you by Country Kitchen, Highway 13 and 50 in Warrensburg.